August 2nd, 2006, Beijing. Basketball star Yao Ming takes a bullet for wildlife. As part of his campaign for endangered animals, Yao publicly announces he's giving up shark fin soup, a Chinese favorite. Reports suggest that around 500,000 tons of shark fins are sold each year. A bowl of the best shark fin soup can cost more than $150. Sylvia Earle. We used to worry about man-eating sharks. Now it's man-eating sharks. That's the real worry, and especially shark fins. With the in improved economy in China and other parts of Asia, shark fin soup suddenly become an accessible delicacy. People can afford to have a special treat. And as never before, the pressure is on from all over the world. Pressure may be an understatement. A 2006 report says over 8,000 sharks are killed every hour. That's more than 70 million this year alone. It's a cruel business. Sharks are hauled on deck and their fins cut off. The rest of the meat is treated as if it's worthless. The fishermen often dump the body back in the water. Sometimes the shark is still alive. In 2006, soccer players in Ecuador were inspired to adopt sharks as their cause. So every time they'd make a score, the Ecuadorian team would go around making the shark sign, you know, you know. When you get sports stars standing up, even little kids, even big kids who are running countries, <laughs> will get that word. And it will, I'm confident, have an impact in a positive way. The reason people are warming to sharks is that we've learned they are a critical part of the ecosystem. Removing them can lead to a collapse of the food chain. In the Caribbean, fewer sharks mean an increased number of carnivorous fish, like grouper. More grouper eat more plant-eating fish. Without the plant eaters, algae grow out of control, smothering the reef. So losing sharks could ultimately cause the loss of an entire reef. The destruction of reefs robs coastlines of vital protection. They're the first line of defense in the face of powerful storms that slam the shore. In 2006, there's a growing awareness of the connections between things like wildlife and the land. <laughs> 